uh, go into the search bar and you can just type boot. And you'll you'll find right at the top it says boot camp assistant. Click, click on that and it will open up the uh, boot camp window. You can install XP, Vista, or Windows 7. From here you just continue. Then simply partition the drive. And I just click partition. Um, at this point, depending on how large you make the partition, it may take a little while. One of the big differences, uh, of course, the third-party software is going to you're going to have to spend some additional money to get. Uh, Boot Camp comes with every Mac, so there's no added cost other than you have to have a version of Windows. Once the partitioning is completed, it's asking for the installation disk. So you take your installation disk, and you load it into the Mac, Super Drive, and then you just click the uh, Start Installation button. Again, it reminds you that you can use all the different versions. One of the other benefits with uh, Boot Camp is that um, it loads in all of the drivers that you need for the hardware. You need the wonderful end user license agreement. And I have to push 8 to agree. And I pick uh, the Boot Camp partition. And it wants me to format it. So I could either leave it as FAT32, uh, or I could format it as NTFS. I'm going to format it with uh, NTFS. Once the process has completed copying all the files, it will reboot. Hold down the options key and you'll get icons for the partitions and you can select the windows to boot back into the install. At this point we're almost there. All the files are copied over and everything needs to be set up and configured. It takes quite a while, so sit back and relax and uh, just have a little patience. We'll, we're almost there. The next thing to come up after this will be the regional language options. Select what you want and then click next. Then you can put your name and your organization in. I'm kidding. Click next. Then you finally put the product key in. After which you can pick a computer name and put an administrator password in. Next is to uh, check the time zone and the date, time. Then you should uh, put in your uh, network settings. And then finally, it will finish the installation. After it saves some of the settings, that is. Don't forget when it reboots to hold the option key. Windows XP fully loaded, we then need to install the uh, Bootcamp Assistant drivers and everything for the hardware. So I'm put it in. Is that the application disk? That's the OS disk. Right? That's the OS disk that comes with uh, your MacBook. Okay. Or your Mac. Okay. That just means that the drive is, the disk CD itself is a hybrid drive. It's readable both in Windows.
going places. Okay. And it's finally done. Wow. And it of course wants to restart. Oh, oh look at that. And there it is. Oh, and don't forget, I'm at risk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So finally, the next uh, major thing would be to um, go out and uh, install all of the updates that are going to be available for this particular version of Microsoft Windows XP. Mm -hmm. And I won't put you through the pain of that because it'll probably take it a while. Yeah. Um, another day. All right. Well, thank you. All right. No problem.